Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's bi-weekly contest, maximum jaw after operations. So, problem states that we are given an array num and we can apply this operation basically take a integer n take an integer x zor it with the current number and then and it with the same number itself so you can apply this operation a number of times and after applying this operation you have to land on an array which will give you the maximum possible bitwise zor of all the elements so for example let's say the array is 3 to 4 6 and uh, you apply some operation and the array become 3 to 4 2 now your like the value of this particular transformed array 3 to 4 2 would be 3 or 2 or 4 dot 4 or 2 which is 7 so the transformed like this transformed array 3 to 4 2 has a value 7 so similarly you have to find out the maximum value of all of all the arrays after transformation so basically you can transform this like you can apply this operation any number of times on this given array and after, on the transformed array you will do a bitwise or and among all possible combination you have to return the one which has the maximum possible value of bitwise or so now how to solve this so as we do every time let's not solve the original problem instead let's solve the easier version so in problem we are given this nums of i and x will be an integer but for the time being let's assume that this nums of i and x are not integers instead they are a single bit okay so this can be one of the array 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 so with this array let's try to solve the problem same problem so this is the operation that we have nums of i will like we can transform this nums of i to nums of i and nums of i's or x and x again can be a bit 0 or 1 so now let's first uh, look at this end right so because of this end what happens like the, this nums of i can be either 1 or 0 so now because there is an end here irrespective of what you do here this 0 can't be transformed into 1 like this 0 will always be transformed into 0 so if nums of i is 0 irrespective of whether you get 0 or 1 after doing this 0 and 0 would be 0 and 0 and 1 would be 0 as well so if nums of i is 0 no matter what you do you like you can't actually get 1 for this particular uh, ith position now the case where nums of i is 1 is little bit interesting because if it is and so it depends whether after performing this operation we get 0 or 1 depending on whether we get 0 or 1 if we zor 1 with 0 we will get 0 and if we zor 1 with 1 we will get 1 so first observation that we are making from here is if nums of i is 0 we will always get 0 we can't actually get 1 from nums of i but if nums of i is 1 we can like if nums of i is 1 this particular thing is 1 right so we can zor it with either 1 or 0 and it will get it will give us 0 or 1 and depending on what we do we will either get 0 or get 1 as the final output so now let's see what exactly like what to do like we need to find out the maximum possible bitwise or of all the elements take okay, so this is just we are considering the single element that single element if it is 0 it can't be transformed into 0 it will be 0 always if it is 1 we can actually transform it to 0 or 1 depending on how we choose x so now what we need to do finally is we need to find out the maximum possible bitwise or so if let's say this is the array 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 bitwise or of this entire array is currently 0 
but you want maximum possible value right so you would try to uh, try to make it one like either it can be zero or it can be one there is only one single bit array right so it can be either zero or one so zero is currently the bitwise or but if possible you would like it to be one that would be greater than zero so now how you can say whether it whether it can be one or not so the jar is like there are four ones right that's why the jar is zero but if you just remove this one one or maybe transform into zero then you like the bitwise jar would become one right and we just now see that depending on what we choose x we can transform any one into zero or one so for all this ones like for all these three ones we will not do anything or value of x will be zero but for uh, for this particular one we can perform a single operation in which value of x is one and sorry value of x is zero and because value of x is zero one or zero would be one and then one sorry value of x is one for this particular uh, operation well let's say we pick value of x is one one or one would be zero and then one and zero would be zero so we can convert this one to zero and then the bitwise or would be one so basically if there are odd number of ones then anyway we can like the jar would be one that is maximum so we will not do anything if there are even number of ones we will remove one one or transform one one to a zero and we will get a sing and we will get the bitwise jar as one and that is the maximum but if we have no ones in the array so like we are we just now see that if it is zero we can't actually do anything with it so zero will remain zero at the end so if all of them are zero bitwise or will be zero and uh, we can't do anything with this this is the answer so hope you get what is happening for a single bit array for a single bit array we will get always we will always get one as a answer if there are at least one one in the array otherwise if there is no one in the array we will get zero as the answer so this is what happens in single bit array let's try to generalize it for multi bit array so first of all let's see this the operation again so we know like first of all uh, let's look at this jar this time this jar again can be subdivided across number of bits so we just now saw how to solve it how to solve this question for a single bit array so what we are now doing is we are trying to convert our original problem into a simpler problem and simpler problem can be something like single bit array or something like that so this jar like this jar is actually distributive so basically this particular jar 1001 jar 1100 can be further written as 1001 jar we can divide these two in two distinct numbers itself why this is possible the reason is a or b or c is actually equals to a or b or c right so uh, if you basically or these two right you will get this why uh, because every bit is zero only the one which is set is one so zero Like if every bit is zero, zero will not change anything in the original number, and only one can change the original number. So because zero, all these zero will not change anything. Only this one will change. So that's where we can actually divide this jar into different number itself, wherein in every number there will be only one position set. Now once we are once we have said that. and we we also know that we can perform any we can perform the operation any number of time so if we have to jar it with 1100 we will jar it with 1000 
and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Like we will perf instead of performing one operation, we will perform two operation, right? By saying this, like instead of performing one operation, we will perform two operation. We have significantly reduced our number of possibilities. So what would be the number of possible values of x now? It will be one of the values wherein one of the bits are set. So either this or this or 0, 0, 1, 0 or 0, 0, 0, 1. Right? This is for four bit integers. So now because this is like we have distributed ZOR for each of the bits separately. Like this bit, like this this particular if we do ZOR with this particular thing, we already know that this zeros will not affect anything. Only this one will affect the particular position. So in a way we can divide our numbers. Like this let's say this is our numbers like 8 uh, and 12, uh, sorry, uh, 8, 4, 12, and 14, and then 10, and then 7. So uh, we can divide these four numbers into their individual single bit array. We can take all the first bit of first number, all the first bit, all the second bit of, sorry, first bit of all the numbers, second bit of all the numbers, third bit of all the numbers, and fourth bit of all the numbers. Then we can just sim, uh, sim, like sim, just apply the logic just that we have discussed for single bit array. So if any of them is one, the resultant will be one. So if any of them is one, resultant will be one. Resultant will be one. If all of them are zero, then only resultant will be zero. So if any of them is one, like if because here at least one one is present in each of this column, every bit will be set in the answer. So in total the answer would be 15. So hope you get what we are doing. We what we have done is because this jaw is distributive, what we have said instead of performing one operation, one complex operation, we will further subdivide into symbol single uh, bit operations. Now as soon as we divided that into a single bit operation, we have simplified the problem and we have said that we will apply the algorithm on each bit separately and each bit can be either 0 and 1 and what we want we want to maximize the number right so we will always want 1 if possible in every bit so we will just apply the algorithm that we have just discussed for single bit array and that would solve the issue so hope you get the solution let's just quickly look at the code uh, so code is very simple there can be at max 29 bits because nums of i is 10 to the power 8 only so we are say, checking like as discussed we need, just need to check whether there is at least one bit set or not if at least one bit is set we will just set this in the answer so this particular like for each bit but we are checking whether this particular bit jth bit is set in any of this number or not if it is set we will just uh, mark this is set as true and if it is set we will uh, like add that to our answer so hope you get the solution. If you have any doubts in this particular problem, please post them in the comment section below. I would be happy to answer. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.